书，我在这儿睡觉，不就什么问题都没有了吗？你包的是怕鬼，找人壮胆啊？呃，有一点儿。行星移游，捡蛇流星中中，美妙鸟心。Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Okay, as you can see in the clip, okay, we are going to talk about、uh, sentences from a movie. It's called Liang Zhu. The story of Liang Zhu in China in China is as classic as Romeo and Juliet. Okay, to start with, we need to know. Liang is for the surname of the male character Liang Shan Bo. Zhu is for the girl Zhu Ying Tai. You know, in ancient China, girls are not allowed to go to school to take exam,、uh, imperial exam.、Uh, but for Zhu Ying Tai, this girl is different because she's from a rich family. So、um, she disguised herself as a Guy and went to school actually for three years to study and to learn manner. And、uh, since Zhu Yingtai, this girl's family is kind of close with the principal of the school. So the principal they know the situation and they specifically arranged the library for the girl Zhu Yingtai to stay in as、uh, her, you know, as her apartment to spend the night. Uh, and for the at the first night after the whole day's disguise, Zhu Yingtai returned and kind of、uh, started to、uh, get sleep. She took off the clothes and let down her hair, and very soon she found something very scary because someone was hiding behind her, and it turns out it was Liang Shan Bo. Okay, what Liang Shan Bo is doing here? Turns out Liang Shan Bo. It's very, it's very poor. She, he's from a very poor family. Although it's against the rule to、um, enter the library without permission because it's a forbidden area, he still does that every night just in order to read more. And、um, and he kind of begs Zhu Yingtai not to、um, leak out the secret because otherwise he will be kicked out of the school. And、um, he decided to leave Zhu Yingtai alone. And then very soon, Zhu Yingtai realized that that was a wrong, bad decision because it was kind of scary to be there alone in the dark. And then Zhu Yingtai stopped the guy Liang Shan Bo. Hey, 兄台 Okay, so hey, as in hey in English, 兄台 is kind of like saying bro, but it's more gentle than bro. It's kind of like saying hey friend. And, uh, Liang Shan Bo replied. 又怎么啦 ？OK， 又 means again， 怎么？呃，怎么 means how， but here we translate it as what again？ What again？ 啦 ，the final 啦 is to raise a question。And Zhu Yingtai， the girl explains， 你在这儿读书，我在这儿睡觉，不就什么问题都没有了吗 ？OK， 你 you 在 means。B stay, jar, here. Okay, I know it's kind of probably a little hard to say to say jar. Uh, it is 这儿 and quickly it becomes 这儿这儿这儿 Okay, 读书 read, 读 read 书 book. 我 I 在 stay here. Uh, 在 stay 这儿 here. 睡觉 sleep. 不就什么问题都没有了吗 ？OK， 不就 here is kind of、uh, the same like English. We ask something with the negating tone,、uh, saying "isn't it?" OK， 什么 ？OK， 什么 is normally what, but here it means any, any 问题 problem 都 all 没有 gone 了。Okay, le is normally put by the end of a statement to suggest, oh, this verb, this action is finished. Ma here is to raise a question. 不就什么问题都没有了吗 Then won't there be no problem at all? 
And then, ah,、uh, okay, the Liang Shanbo started to make a joke. He said, "Ah, you 包着是怕鬼找人壮胆啊。你 you 包 means wrap. 遮 here is to suggest this action, this verb is an ongoing one. Okay, wrapping wrap the status. Okay, so 你包着 means you wrapping yourself. 是 is 怕 be scared of 鬼 ghost. So altogether, 你包着是怕鬼 You wrapping yourself is because you are scared of the ghost. I know the subject.、Uh, a lot of the pronouns are、uh, like removed. But you in Chinese, you don't say everything in a sentence. You kind of get the gist, and then it'll be fine, <laughs> okay? And、uh, what we have followed by is 找人壮胆啊，找 look for 人 someone 壮 strengthen 胆 guts 找人壮胆啊。Sorry, one second, kind of noisy. Okay, 找人壮胆啊 is to say look for someone to be more brave. <laughs> ah, by the end is to、uh, raise a question here. And finally, uh, Ru Yintai said, 有一点儿有 means have 一点儿一点儿一点儿一点儿 means a little bit. 有一点儿 means yeah, a little bit. Okay, that's all for today, and I hope you guys had fun. I'll see you next time. Bye.